but I think I'll, I'll go with this one today. Um, this is a poem, um, and uh, you can correct my pronunciation if you want uh, after. Um, called, <laughs> um, it's called Sukenru, I think that's it. Uh, it's a German word that uh, refers to the um, impulse of migratory animals when they have to go. And um, then there's one other word I want to introduce. Many, some of you might know it if you've ever been involved in a caregiving situation. Um, it's called sundowning, and it's something that uh, caregivers and nurses uh, witness uh, among patients um, at around four in the afternoon. So those are the only two words. <laughs> Sukunru. I hear aloft the calls of the spirited away. And from behind a cloud, a skein of birds flying south in a white November sky, an irregular formation, the V jagged and uneven, as if penned by a tremulous hand. The force that moves wild things, salmon, wildebeest herds and swarms, flocks of birds and solitary butterflies, miracle of instinct waking the need to travel, to move, to migrate, what unknowable primal intellect coils in the brain to order the departure and return of the snow goose, to tell her that the tremble beneath her wings should lift her to the skies. Zoom to move on rue anxiety restlessness to quiver with the urgency to move, to go, impelled by an ancient need to flee, to move, to go, to fly, to go, to go, like an unraveling mind sundowning at dusk, a mindless urgency that cannot be stilled nor reason into calm, driven not by elusive thought nor external imperatives of shorter days, colder nights, scarcity of food and mates, but an internal warning bell that chimes and chimes relentlessly in the brain at a shifting movement of the first stars of the evening. In that place where I visit and sit in the garden, massaging an old hand, I often hear, mad and operatic, a bird unseen, an exhausting and glorious aria of warbles and trills, like a boil of bubbles bursting through the surface, or a saxophone solo in chaotic cadenza, climbing ever upward with exultant release alone in an empty room, a song unseen in the garden where I sit, warbles tuneless and tumultuous trills, Octave, jumps, licks, runs, trills, arpeggios, exultant ecstasy of praise and desire. And though I search the trees, the rooftop and sky, there is no bird. In that place where I visit and sit in the garden, waiting in stillness and sorrow, suddenly a woman blooms from behind the bougainvillea shedding her clothes like molting feathers, trailing garlands of garments behind her, bird legs bony and bare, circling her naked shoulders as if preparing for flight, eyes deep in the hollows of her sculpted head. She passes by, unseeing and dreaming of faraway skies, her pink tongue twirling in the dark cave of her mouth, open and full of bird song. Beautiful.